Hi, Hi, it's Jean again. With more time to think, I don't know if you've noticed what funny things seem to come into our mind. Many, many years ago, when we lived in Cambridge, we were just setting off as a family for a holiday up north when the phone rings. Good morning, Bishop here. What? Kirkland stands to attention, of course. Hello, Bishop. What do you want? I don't suppose you'd be interested, but the next time you go up north, I'd like you to have a look at a certain parish. Um, you might just like to take a look. I have to tell you, it's very run down. Hardly anybody goes to church, and the area is it's quite violent, and it's multicultural, and there's quite a lot of graffiti around. Um, I don't suppose you'd like to take a look. And with that, he's gone. And Paul and I and the very young children and left stood standing there thinking, what? So we get in the car and we go on our holiday up north. And we did look at the parish and the bishop was completely right. It, everything was run down. The streets were full of rubbish. A lot of the houses had been bulldozed. The vicarage was boarded up and there was a veritable forest growing out of the gutters in the church. We went inside the vicarage, creeping around, almost fearful of what we might find. We go upstairs, and there's one window left unboarded. I edge towards it, and I look out, quite fearful of what I might see, and there is the most amazing view of the Pennine Hills. And I found myself saying aloud, I lift my eyes to the hills, but where does my help come from? It comes from my Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will neither slumber nor sleep. Psalm 121 just came to my mind. And you know, in that moment, Paul and I knew this is where we were meant to be. It wasn't an easy ride, and yes, the violence did scare us. But in the nine years that we were there, we saw the power of the Spirit at work. We experienced real community and saw God's miraculous provision for all that we needed. I have to tell you, it was the best of times, but jolly hard work. We too now are in desperate times feeling perhaps that we are boarded up against this virus. Where will our help come from? It can only now come from the Lord. But there are things that we can do. Firstly, look up, and I mean physically, look up, look up to the skies. It's proven to help mental health. Secondly, look to God with your heart and your mind, not down to the news or the latest scaremongering. And thirdly, look up the word of God. I prescribe a good daily dose of the Psalms. I was tempted to sing here, but perhaps I might spare you that. Or there again, perhaps I might just sing it. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look for in his wonderful face and the things of earth they'll grow strangely dim in the light of his glory